at McDonald's than in the past month or two. Okay, you know where you guys are awesome. So if you have, you probably heard about McDonald's new promotional item, the Travis Scott meal. Now, I'm a lover of fast food just like anybody else, but I feel the need to bring to light this particular situation. It's a very exaggerated meal, if you ask me. <laughs> so, what I'm going to be telling you guys today is that Travis Scott meal is not worth the attention. Uh, we'll be going over the Travis Scott meal itself, what's in it, contents, uh, reviews of the product, and then McDonald's history of celebrity partnerships. So let's start with the meal itself. What is the Travis Scott meal? Taken directly from McDonald's webpage, Travis Scott meal, Cactus Jack, on McDonald's.com in 2020, the meal claims to be a quarter pounder with cheese stacked with Travis's to-go toppings, bacon and lettuce, with hot crispy fries barbecue sauce, and a Sprite. Now the meal sells for $6 on the McDonald's app. Sounds like a steal, right? Well, here's the issue with that. Said by Kieran Brower in her article, Travis Scott Meal, Is It Worth the Hype? on the Butler Collegian on September 22, 2020, for a burger almost no different than the Quarter Pounder, and with the exclusion of Happy Meal toys, the hype around this common commodity is absolutely unreal. Because the meal holds an uncanny resemblance to the already existing Quarter Pounder, any sense of uniqueness is just down the drain. The only quirk this thing has is the name Travis Scott slapped onto it. <laughs> so the price claims to be six dollars whenever you order with the McDonald's app, but whenever you order from DoorDash, Uber Eats, or just even the physical McDonald's location, it's going to be more expensive than that, obviously. During a personal interview on October fourth of twenty twenty with Aaron Chan, who ate and reviewed the Travis Scott meal. Chan claimed the meal was $6.99 without tax. It was a typical quarter pounder meal that can be bought year round. However, the association with the rapper Travis Scott gave the meal a sort of status. So what's the purpose of the Travis Scott and McDonald's partnership and what can we do about it? From John Carmenka's article, Travis Scott meal, it's lit, published in the New York Times on September 11th, 2020, while McDonald's remains among the most valuable fast food restaurant on the planet, with total global revenue around $21 billion each of the last two years, the business is in an overall decline, with a high of $28 million in 2013. The partnership seems to be McDonald's attempt at uplifting sales and appealing to a younger audience. The last celebrity was actually Michael Jordan with the McJordan Burger whenever he partnered with McDonald's around the time of the Chicago Bulls hype. But this was in 1992, almost 30 years ago. So what we can infer from this is that McDonald's doesn't do celebrity partnerships often. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is that you can save some money by just buying a quarter pounder meal. <laughs> The quarter pounder meal at McDonald's is five dollars and seventy nine cents. Now, unless you're kind of a penny pincher, that's not a whole lot. But still, if you're looking to save yourself some money, then I highly recommend skipping out on the Travis Scott meal. So let's go over our points one more time. The Travis Scott meal is a rip off by McDonald's to sell you a pre existing menu item with a fancy name and a bigger price tag. Save yourself some money by skipping out on the Travis Scott meal and just buying a regular quarter pounder 